channel Haitian Danny with Mary. In today's video, I will show you how to make soup jumu, also known as squash soup. But before we get started, please hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. On today's ingredients: three pounds of um, beef stew meat, one buttercup squash, one hot pepper, two leeks, one turnip, two carrots, half cabbage head, two pieces of celery, one African yam, two tablespoons butter, one lime, handful of parsley, seven branch thyme, cloves, one cup of macaroni, ziti, and spaghetti, one cup split it in half. Now, to make the dumplings, I will need half cup of water, one packet chicken bouillon, one teaspoon garlic, and two cups all-purpose flour. This is how it look like after I cut everything off. This is how I cut the squash. I'm sorry guys, I didn't show you how I clean and marinate the beef, so I will show you in another video. I'm adding the water just to cook the meat. I'm adding 8 cups of water to boil the squash. You will let the squash, yam and meat cook for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, I will take out the squash and let it cool down for 10 minutes. I'm going to use the same water that I boiled the squash in to blend it. This is what it should look like. Now, I'm going to strain it to take out any residue from the squash. I will pour the blended squash into the meat that has been cooking for 40 minutes in medium low heat. Now, I will add the vegetable into the soup. Now, I will add the pre-washed parsley and thyme tied together and I will also add the cloves and the hot pepper. After I taste it, I see it needs some salt. I put on Laris garlic salt and mix it very well. Now, I'm going to add the macaroni spaghetti butter into the soup.
Right now, I'm going to make the dumplings. I'm adding the chicken goya packet, the water, and mix it very well. After that, I'm going to knead the dough for 5 minutes and add the butter in. Make sure you sprinkle a little flour so the dough won't stick when you roll it. Now, I just roll it and add it to the soup. After I let the soup simmer for 30 minutes, I will remove the celery, thyme and parsley. Now I will add 1 tablespoon of lime juice just for taste. After the yam has been cooked for 30 minutes, I will add it to the soup. This is the final product. I hope you enjoy my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks bye bye